Hey guys, Jim at MotoProHQ.com. Today we're going to talk about our nice rack system that goes in the back of pickup trucks. This particular model that I'm going to show you today is a two bike system and it's going in the back of an F350 with stake pocket access. And so I'm going to show you how to assemble the chocks. This is going to be universal for our toy hauler system as well as our truck system. And, and I'll talk about the system and the various parts and pieces as we go. And by the time we're done, you're going to know how to assemble all the components, how it goes together and how to put it in your truck. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out all of our components out of the box like I have laid out here. So I'll go through them with you really quick and uh, uh, hopefully the cameraman can zoom in on the different pieces. These are our zero mounts. This is the driver side mount and the passenger side mount. This is the piece that rides on the bed rail, the stake pocket post, the collar, the tab, and then the tab that goes down to assemble or install the turnbuckle. Every system comes with a rubber rail cushion cut out to fit the stake pocket and protect your bed rails. These are the extension arms. They move in and out. We call that a telescoping feature. You can pin it all the way in to have it stowed and you can extend it out, which is approximately 10 inches out uh, for the uh, during transport system. Your crossbars come in 75 inches for most standard size trucks. They are, uh, this uh, telescoping arm pins inside of the crossbar with a wire safety clip. Obviously we've got the uh, blue chalks here. This is what we call a collar receiver and then the chalk angle bracket. We've got quarter 20 hardware in the stainless steel uh, bolts and zinc plated nuts. We've got a detent pin. We've got a 7 16 bolt washer and nylon lock nut. So let's get started with the assembly. All right guys, so we're gonna assemble the chalk. We're gonna use the quarter 20 stainless steel bolts the zinc nylon lock nuts, and the short angled chalk bracket, okay? Now, I wanna go over something very, very important. These are stainless steel screws or bolts and zinc nylon lock nuts. These are quarter 20, and the foot-pound torque is about five at most, okay? I'm using a 7 16 wrench and a quarter inch drive. This is plenty. You don't use your impacts and you don't use your 3 8 drives unless you promise not to wrench them down. All we need to do is get them snug because we have nylon lock nuts on everything. Everything's going to stay nice and tight. So let's get after it. So I'm going to take the quarter 20s and I'm going to do the first one. The hardest part of this job is getting your fingers up inside of the bracket and getting the nuts th to thread. Sometimes it's easier to spin the bolt on the bottom. So I'm going to get these uh, preloaded and uh, on there like that so that's the what we're going for this is the bottom of the chalk the top and now i've got a long extension so i can get out past the chalk and i'm going to hold this in the back here and i'm going to use my quarter inch drive until it's snug that's it snug and that's it so that's your chalk assembly to the short chalk bracket. Now the receiver is going on the crossbar and we have a hex cutout on one side and just a circular pattern on the other. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this into the receiver. You're gonna take your stainless steel 7 16 bolt, excuse me, on this side and to the hex cutout side and then the washer and another zinc nylon lock nut. And for this, you can use a 5 8 on a ratchet. I like to use a 5 8 open end wrench and spin it down. And I'm gonna show you why. Because when I get to here, all I wanna do is pinch this. So there's a little bit of play. All I wanna do is tighten that up snug to take the play out. That's it, not any tighter or you'll squeeze the bracket and then it won't go in and out as easily so that's our chocks assembled i've got both chocks assembled now let's show you how to assemble the rack and put it in your truck all right 
So now I've got everything laid out as it should be. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the bar and chalks. And so what I like to do is I like to put on a chalk and slide it down. Now be very careful. You want this to slide very gently to not scratch up the bar. It's gonna happen. We just don't wanna do it too much. And so what I wanna do is then I'm gonna take a detent pin once I have it lined up. Now I'm, I'm installing a two bike system. And so all I'm doing is putting it in place to position both bikes about equal distance. So I've got one chalk on, I'm gonna rest it on the chalk. I'm gonna grab the other chalk. And the funny part is you gotta make sure they're both facing the same direction. I'm gonna go to the third hole. And now, once I have two chalks on, they will it will rest. It's still gonna wanna tip until I get this detent pin in, then I'll allow it to roll forward. Now, sometimes these are a little tricky because you're coming down into this hole here. Just move the bar a little bit. There is a little bit of play here and that detent pin should drop right in. So that's the chocks on the bar. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the passenger side mount in place. And again, I'm looking, no, taking note. There's nothing that clips this to the bar. This just floats freely. Then I'm gonna put the extension arm in and I'm gonna take my wire C-clip or wire safety pin. I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna pin it in the stowed position all right now i'm going to take the other side i'm going to turn the rack around now be careful when you move this because remember this is floating so be be aware got my other side i'm going to put the mount on again i'm going to take my arm insert it into the main crossbar and then I'm gonna take my wire safety pin and position that. That is the rack assembly. And I'll just set it up here for the two bike system, okay? Now, what I like to do is I like to hook the turnbuckles in the tabs and I'm gonna take my rubber rail cushions and I'm gonna hop up in the back of the truck and from behind the rack, if I had my tailgate on, we use a truck camper so I don't have a tailgate. Um, I'd hop up in the truck and I'd walk from behind the rack and I'd lift it and carry it into place. So let's do that now. It's normal to have to move these to line up with your stake pocket. All right, so once I have my rack up in position, you can adjust these, but I'm gonna show you a little trick that I do that allows me to position it perfectly every time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my rubber rail cushion, I'm gonna put them in place on each side. Now you'll notice that one side's thinner than the other. The thin side goes towards the inside of the truck bed. Now, from behind the rack, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna make this exaggerated so that uh, you can see how this works. So I'm gonna pick the rack up. The mounts do not fit. I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna drop that stake pocket in. Now I'm gonna pull it towards the passenger side to line up this one. And the stake pockets are lined up, but the rack is off centered. So now all I need to do is slide the rack left or right to get approximate center. So now all I need to do is fasten my turnbuckles to tighten her down. All you need to do is tighten these relatively hand tight on each side. As I remove the turnbuckle and clip it into the factory mounted support tie down. And then I come from behind and slip the hook portion of the turnbuckle into the rack mount tab. Then I'm gonna tighten the turnbuckle. And again, all you need is relatively hand tight. So I only ever tighten this by hand on both sides. I'm gonna check the other one's tight. Good. Our rack is installed and it goes nowhere. That's it. The Nice Rack by Moto Pro HQ. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so I got the bike loaded up in the back of the truck. And one of the things that I mentioned earlier is having your straps already here in the proper place.
Now this is bike number two in or left to right. So this would be bike one, this would be bike two. So we're gonna put our first strap to the chalk tab on bike one's chalk. And we're gonna come over and we're gonna lace a soft tie through the triple tree. And I like to, there's a cheater move. I like to balance the bike with my foot on the foot peg. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stuff that strap through. I'm gonna hook the soft tie and then I'm gonna cinch the strap just relatively snug, straight for now. I'm gonna secure the other soft tie on the other side of the bike. The hardest part is getting the strap behind the number mask or the headlight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little strap maintenance. I'm gonna tuck this strap into the safety hook. All right, so let's just say that we have the bike chalk here but we want to reposition it. We're going to take a third bike or we want to maximize the cargo loading space in the back of the truck. All you have to do is pull the detent pin, slide the chalk where you want it. And this one, we're going to go all the way over, line up the hole, detent pin, and we're readjusted, ready to go. Okay, so with the bike in this far outside position, we're going to utilize the telescoping arm. All we need to do is pull the wire safety pin, slide the uh, telescoping arm out until the bolt, excuse me, until the hole clicks. That's approximately 10 inches. Now we're going to secure the strap into position. Uh, I've got the bike already loaded, but typically you would have the straps laid out maybe on the bed rail and ready for when you bring the bike up. So now we're going to thread the strap soft tie behind the number mask or the headlight secure and just real lightly attach it. Now this next chalk, if we're running two bikes extremely wide so that the center of your truck is accessible for gear, notice the one bike stays up with one strap. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to the other chalk. So let's move that one over to simulate that we're using the full bed and so we've got the chalks as wide as possible. Slip that detent pin down in. Sometimes they're a little bit of a lining it up is the hardest part. So I'm gonna position my strap on the rack. Extend the strap. And again, I'm gonna stuff the soft tie behind the mask and the brake lines. I'm gonna hook. Now again, the bike is very loose, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna push this way, cinch it down a little bit, cinch it down this way a little bit, and the bike is extremely secure. And if you'll notice, we're all the way outside on the outside edge of the truck bed. So we'll get a shot for you from behind so you can see how much of the truck bed is usable for storage, for gear.